Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier and welcome to 5 of the best sandbox applications for Windows 10. No matter what you do, Windows probably has software to make it easier. The only problem is you cannot trust every download from the free software download sites or from an unknown developer. The reason for this is simple. The software you download may be unstable, bundled with adware, or it may even be infected with the virus or malware. To deal with this, you can sandbox the application and try it. If it is good enough, you can install it normally. A sandbox is a virtual environment where you can install and run new or untrusted apps without letting them harm your system. Here are some of the best sandbox applications for Windows out of the many that are available. Sandboxy. Sandboxy is one of the most popular and most used applications to sandbox and isolate programs from the underlying Windows operating system. The good thing about Sandboxy is that it's very lightweight and free. You can install and run almost any Windows software through Sandboxy. Besides installing software inside Sandboxy, you can run any already installed program like your web browser via Sandboxy. All you have to do is select Sandbox Default Box Run Sandboxed Run Web Browser. If you want to run any other application, select Run Any Program. When you run a program in sandbox mode, you will see a thick yellow border around the window to let you know that you are in a sandboxed environment. Sandboxy comes in both free and paid versions, where the free version lacks some important features like forced programs, the ability to run multiple sandboxes, etc. However, for a general home user, the free version should suffice. Shade Sandbox Shade Sandbox is yet another popular and free sandboxing application. Compared to Sandboxy, the user interface of Shade is much simpler, straightforward and beginner friendly. To sandbox an application, all you have to do is drag and drop it into the Shade Sandbox window. The next time you launch the application, it will be automatically sandboxed. When using Shade Sandbox, all your browsing history, temporary files, cookies, Windows registry, system files, etc. are well isolated from the operating system. Any files downloaded when using Shade will be stored in the Virtual Downloads folder, which can be accessed from within the Shade interface. If you're looking for a sandbox application with a simpler user interface, then Shade Sandbox is for you. ToolWiz Time Freeze ToolWiz Time Freeze works very differently from the above two sandbox applications. When you install ToolWiz Time Freeze, it creates a virtual copy of your entire system settings and files and saves the state. After using the application you want to test, just reboot the system and it will be automatically restored. This type of application is pretty useful when you want to thoroughly test a program with no limitations but don't want the program to make any changes to the host operating system. Shadow Defender Shadow Defender is just like ToolWiz Time Freeze when you install and initialize the software, you will be prompted to virtualize your system drive and any other drives of your choice. Once the system has been virtualized, any changes made to it are discarded when you reboot the system the next time. Of course, you can always specify files and folders to exclude from shadow mode. This lets you pick and choose what changes to keep and what changes to discard. When in shadow mode, if you want to save a downloaded file or commit a system change, all you have to do is click on the Commit Now button in the main window. Create a virtual machine. What all the above apps do is generally known as light virtualization. That is, the apps you are testing are still running on the host operating system, albeit in a limited way. If you want full virtualization, there's no better way than to create a virtual machine of the operating system of your choice in either VirtualBox or VMware. The good thing is that the programs installed on virtual machines are completely isolated from the host operating system and there will be no limitations that come with generic sandbox software. OK, as always, thanks for watching and please subscribe and add your comments below. See you next time.